Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. Uh, in this video, I'll just be taking a quick look at how to install some 4.2 apps on your 4.1 or 4.0 device. Now in this uh, video, I'll be using my Nexus S, uh, the GSM variant, and this is rooted and I'm running Raspbian Jelly. So let's get started. First, what you're going to go ahead and do is hit the links in the description and that'll take you to be able to install, uh, that'll take you to the page to install, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, to download the camera, the clock, the gallery comes with the camera, as well as the keyboard. So these are all 4.2 apps pulled from the Nexus 4. Now after you download the keyboard, what you're going to do is, uh, if you download it on your laptop or you, you know your computer or whatever, you're going to have to plug up your phone and put the file over to your phone somewhere in the SD card. Now if you download it straight to your phone, it'll be in your downloads folder, and I'll move from there. So as you can see, I have my downloads. It'll be labeled as Latin. IME Google underscore sign blah blah blah. Um, you can just either go ahead and whoops, you're gonna go ahead and click right on it. And it says replace app, that's because I already have it installed. But it'll go ahead and install it if you already have the security. Um, the you go into security, I'm sorry, uh, go into security and unknown sources. If you have unknown sources checked, it won't ask you to go ahead and do that it will just go ahead and install it. So after you install it, you'll get the new Android 4.2 keyboard. And I'll be making a separate video on how these work. Uh, I tried to do it in all in one video and it just it was just too long. So you'll have the 4.2 keyboard. Now to go ahead and get the camera, clock, and gallery. Now you do have to be rooted to get these three, um, to get these three apps. You don't have to be running a custom ROM, I don't think. Um, but like I said, if you're rooted, you can go ahead and make a backup using ROM manager. So what you're going to want to do is install, uh, download these, the camera clock, the camera and clock, the gallery will come with the camera, <clears throat> um, either to your device or on a separate device and drag them over to your Nexus S or whatever device you're running and uh, put them somewhere where they're easily accessible because you're going to need to use a, a ROM manager. So you're going to go ahead and open up something that allows you to get to the root files like root explorer here and you're going to scroll down to system app and so you're going to do this before you install those you can have them downloaded just do this before and you'll see desk clock I have two I have the desk clock google.apk and then you'll see another one that says desk clock.bak so what you're going to want to do is change your desk clock.apk to a .bak file so what you're going to do first is you're going to want to make sure that says mount ro and then long press rename and you're just going to go ahead and rename that to deskclock.bak um, and then press OK. So this will take your um, this will take your clock away, which is fine though because you still have it. All you need to do is rename it. This will just will what that does is prevent issues from the new clock being installed um, while still maintaining the old clock. And then same thing with gallerygoogle.apk. You're going to need to change that to gallerygoogle.bak. So all you're doing is changing the extension. Um, and then you're good to go from there all you need to do you have everything good now when you back out you should see that your camera gallery and clock are all missing don't be alarmed <clears throat> that's fine like I said make a backup and all you need to do is rename those files and they'll still be there now you just reboot and recovery using your favorite um, custom recovery uh, use ROM manager I believe I think it's called twerp is available as well <coughs> Um, so then once you're here, you're going to want to go to uh, wipe cache partition. Now I'm not going to do it because then it'll take forever for my apps to be, you know, re-updated. Uh, uh, you're just going to wipe the cache, go to advanced, wipe the Dalvik cache, just like you're installing a, an update in a ROM. So you, once you wipe both those caches, you're going to go to install zip from SD card, choose zip. Now if you download it straight to your phone, it'll be in your download folder. If you download it on your computer and dragged it over to the root of your SD card, it'll be down at the bottom next to where it says go back. So I'm just going to go up to download since I download straight to my phone and you'll see the file 4.2 camera underscore t04.zip. Now you're going to go ahead and hit the search button to either execute the install or the power button uh, on the right side. After you finish that, you're going to go ahead and see, you're going to scroll down to where it says Android 4.2 clock uh, gnufabio.zip and install that. So once you've installed that, that should go smoothly. 
you're just going to go back, go back, and reboot system now. <coughs> Excuse me. So after you've uh, installed both of those, everything should be good to go. You should have the new uh, Android 4.2 um, clock. You should have the new Android 4.2 camera, gallery, and keyboard. Now I will be making a separate video to just go over those briefly. Um, if you have any questions or something went wrong during the installation process, be sure to just leave a comment down below. And if you are rooted and you installed some uh, the new um, the new files, the new system apps, you should have uh, been backed up, like I said. And if you weren't, if something went wrong and you don't have any camera or anything, the way that you can get those back is since you just renamed the file from .apk, you can just go ahead and name it back to .apk. So everything will be fine there. Um, but like I said, you shouldn't have any problems. I didn't have any problems. Uh, links are down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe for more. And uh, <clears throat> if you aren't already, check me out on Google+. Follow me on Twitter. And uh, I will be having another giveaway coming up. Just stay tuned for that, as well as my uh, quick overview of the camera, gallery, uh, keyboard, and clock review. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.